Hi guys, this is Sarah with the Today Paper Co. and I am just coming to you today with a little bit of a different video for me. I haven't done one of these before, so I'm hoping everything turns out well. As you can see, I have quite a few planners sitting here. I am going to be trying some new stuff for 2017. Uh, my goal is to... I guess find my planner piece more or less um and i'm hoping that by having more planners maybe it'll help and it's not all necessarily for the planning um well it is for the planning but uh one is for a journal which if you watched a haul video of mine you will have no you'll know that when i get to it um and you'll know what the purpose of all of these are if you've watched any of the haul videos related to these and if you haven't definitely uh check them out i'll try to link them down below as well um, uh, just so that you know you have easier access to those haul videos they're going to be a little bit more in depth about the planner themselves whereas this video is more about going through each planner and what i plan to actually use the planner for um i do have some other planners i don't necessarily have a purpose for at the moment um i am you know i have some things in my mind but i don't want to put them in the video and then change it or i think they're just kind of going to be intermixed in but these are the ones at this moment in time that i fully plan on using um on a regular basis i don't know if you'll be seeing a lot of these actually in my videos some of them you may not see at all really or some i may just do kind of update videos occasionally i will continue to do my erin condren um weekly and monthly plan with me's i'm hoping to add some personal plan with me's as well i'm not saying i'm going to do that every week on video but um at this point in time i'm hoping that i can but i can't promise that and then there's some other ones that i'm just basically going to be showing you what the plan for the planner actually is and like i said you may see an update video later i'm not sure it kind of all depends on how the planner itself ends up actually being used and whether or not it's information that you know i think is going to be interesting enough for a video so i'm going to go ahead and get started i'm going to try to go more in order of how i'm actually going to be using it so we i'm going to move some of these out of the way and i'm going to start with what will actually be my pre-planning planner this will go with me everywhere that i go um this is the mini happy planner which because it was the mini happy planner it was the reason that I chose it for a few reasons. Um, one, I chose it for my uh, pre-planning because, you know, I can just write in. I don't have to use any stickers or anything for it. And pages are removable, so if it gets, like, where I don't want any it feels too heavy in my bag or whatever I can take out a few months and I can put them to the side or you know I can take out months that have already been pre-planned and not need them anymore so I liked it for its flexibility and for its small size so I've already done a little bit of a pre-plan for this coming week and part of January obviously I don't know you know what the pre-plan is what I did last year was I just had little post-it notes that I cut in half and each day in the Erin Condren and I wrote that in I didn't really like that I felt like this would work better it'd be all in one place and just kind of to show what you know I have going on it'll this will show all the bills so I mean all the basic handwriting and everything will be in here and then everything will be stickered in the other one so um or in the other two actually so I really I think this will work really well I think it'll be really you know nice i may try to do some spreads with this in the future i can't promise that i will it'll all just kind of depend because like i said i really just want this to be very bare bones basic and you know to be able to use it for pre-planning um and just kind of keep it in my purse because of its small size and everything so that is the happy planner mini and like i said i'm not going to show you the whole thing but it's just got your monthly view and then it's got your weekly view and horizontal layout which i do think more vertically but for pre-planning this makes total sense and it doesn't have to be anything crazy or extra or anything like that so that is the happy planner mini and what I'll be using it for and then I noticed that my Erin Condren especially towards the end of the year started getting really heavy and I put it in my purse my purse is way too big um 
hopefully this year I will get a smaller purse. But um, I had a purse that my husband was basically like, you have to use that before you can use another one because I hadn't used it yet. Which is logical. Makes total sense. But um, I've used it for a few months now, which is great. I can just drop my planner in it. It is big enough to do that. But I also have planner bags. And even those got a little bit heavy or cumbersome because my walk into work is a little bit longer. And I like to carry something with me. So I did get a personal size planner. This is a Recollections personal size planner and this little um, tassel right here is just from hot pink fluff I think it's really cute I thought it would look really cute with the planner as well and um, I'm just gonna kind of go through it it's not gonna be really go through everything but my plan with this is more or less um, to have it pretty and everything but for the things that I need to have kind of at hand the scheduling the what's going on the you know that kind of thing I'm probably not gonna have any meal plan in here or anything just because unless it's like a you know meeting a friend for dinner or dinner date or date night or something like that then it'll show up in here but other than that I don't think that I'm gonna have you know quite the level of planning that I'll keep in my Erin Connor and like I had before so basically Erin Connor is gonna be the hub for all things planning um for me at least the Erin Connor vertical that is um I don't have much over here yet obviously I'm gonna add some more as time goes through and I'm sure that I'll do some updates but I just thought these were two cute little planner clips that I got um I cannot remember the shop name right now I'm really sorry I think it's like created by Danielle one or something I'll try to link that down below as well um or correct that with a little annotation in the video or anything um I did order some so much crafting inserts for this um I have monthly view I have um you know just the monthly view there and then I have uh the uh, two page week at a glance uh, view which oh, something's got on there oh well it'll be covered by a sticker and then I did want to keep up with my online purchasing just to kind of one know how much I'm spending and two just to you know know what's coming when it's coming and all that kind of stuff and then I've got my to do's and just some extra little notes papers and stuff in here as well. So um, I am going to do a little bit more of an in-depth look at this and, you know, my setup for it as well. But this is, you know, going to be my go with me. The other reason that I chose this is, again, if this gets heavy, I can take pages out. I can, you know, only keep three months at a time in here or really only keep, you know, the current month and the current week or the current two or three weeks or month that I'm using in the weekly view you or you know that kind of thing I don't have to keep everything with me so I can kind of reduce the amount of weight that is being carried with me so um, I do hope to do some sticker planning with this that I'll post on my channel as well I've never sticker planned in a personal size planner so um, I may do a few spreads on my own before I actually do that or I may film it if it goes well then I'll post it I'm not really sure yet on that so keep in, in you know looking out and see what I end up doing so okay so that is basically the personal planner that I plan on using I'm just going to move it to the side as well and then on to the Erin Condren and I just have a little baby tassel both uh were from hot pink fluff but this is going to be my main planner for the year I have already done my January 2016 I mean 17 whoo <laughs> that's gonna happen a few times I'm sure my January 2017 monthly plan with me and then it's just a vertical planner like I said there will be a haul linked down below but basically everything you saw from previous videos is gonna be here this is gonna be my main planner you know what you see in pretty much every weekly haul like I said there may be some other ones as well but this is going to be the main planner for everything so definitely you know if you want to check out any of my um videos on plan with me i do have different playlists set up with all of my weekly and monthly plan with me's they are separated between monthly and weekly so you can definitely go and take a look at that and see what I have as far as um, my plan with me's go kind of how I plan and 
if you look through my flip through as well that I did with a collab with uh, Charisse Turner Solis, I think I, I hope I said that correctly, you'll also see that um, my planning style changes even almost weekly. It just, I guess, kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. So stay tuned. You can see very different things. Usually lately it has been more minimal white space, but I'm probably going to be doing different things this year. One of the things that I want to do is use up as many of my stickers as I possibly can. I have a lot of stickers <laughs> um, and I just need to kind of go through them. So you may see less hauls and more other type of videos once those, you know, all go up and basically you know, seeing some different things, I think that'll be great and, you know, save a little bit of money on stickers as well. So I don't know, you may still see tons of hauls. I haven't, you know, decided and there's always new cute sticker kits that, you know, I see them and I'm just like, oh my God, I have to have it. So, um, anyway we shall see 2017 is going to be different i'm going to be trying to do a lot of different new things so that is the erin condren that i'm going to be using as my main planner kind of where everything will feed from the pre-planner and to the um carry with me planner i guess is what we'll call it and then i also have the erin condren deluxe monthly um this one like i said i've got a haul video down below that i'll link as well but this one basically i just figured i would use it more for youtube planning and figuring out what videos where they're scheduled so that i can have kind of an at a glance look to see what i have going on in youtube I did kind of mention in my haul video for this that I may also use it for uh, sticker purchases and I may do that just because sticker purchases and planner purchases and different things like that um, definitely correlate to the YouTube videos. They kind of tie in very close together. So I think that it would be a good idea to definitely, you know, use both and be able to have everything all in one place so that I can kind of maybe say, okay, well, this I got most recently, this I ordered, you know, further back and that kind of thing. So I think that would be really good as well. So that is what I'm going to use that planner for. And then, last but not least, I am going to try something new this year. I have tried journaling before. I have not been successful. My hope is that, you know, like with planning, I was not successful in other planners, but in Erin Condren, I was. So, my hope is that I got an Erin Condren. I don't have as much space that I can write, so I don't need to, like, write a memoir, basically, which is, I think, part of the reason that I would buy a journal and I'd have, you know, 200 pages and I think I needed to do, like, you know, three or four journals a year. So, the benefit to this is it limits the amount that I can write in one day. So, um, I think that'll be really good. I haven't actually started using it yet. I will probably go back and use, um, you know, the beginning of or end of 2016 into the beginning of the year and different things like that. So, I mean, I like that, you know, I can, I can even write down like big things that happened on the monthly view and I can, you know, put in kind of a synopsis of the day throughout the week and kind of a closing or something like that. I don't know that I'm going to do stickers with this planner or journaling. I do know that I'm going to basically write everything down. I, I don't, like I said, I don't know. If I do, it'll probably be from kits that I've used previously that I just didn't use everything up with. But, um, you know, I, you may or may not see videos on this planner again just because if I'm not really making it pretty, then I'm probably not going to show it. Um, if I am making it pretty, then I may show it or if there's highly personal information in here because I want this to literally be, you know, the I can go back and see anything that happened during that day, especially if it was an important something that happened that day. So that is what this planner is for. And I will probably be switching out covers. So I'm sure you'll see the flamingos again um, or the little black flowers again. And I love this cover. I think it's so pretty so and then you will probably be seeing the personal planner like I said I can't promise but 
you know, I'm hoping that I'll be able to produce more videos for you of different types so that more people, you know, will see things that they like. I know not everybody uses an Erin Condren. Not everybody uses a personal planner. Not everybody uses um, vertical. Some people use the horizontal. So everybody likes different things. And I, I can't cater to everything, but I will do my best to do as much as I can to bring as many videos as I can for, you know, everybody that, you know, is looking for planner related videos and just ideas on how to do their planners and you know if anybody else has any ideas that they want to recommend to me oh my god I would love that definitely comment down below and I will I do my best to try to reply to all the comments that I get and I'm sure if you have an idea I may have questions for that idea so definitely you know definitely comment down below or I have a Facebook group it's a date paper co um I even have a Facebook uh, business page. It's also, it's a date paper co, except it's actually spelled out like it's a date paper co versus all one word like the group is. I'm on Instagram. And of course, like I said, you can comment down below as well. So I did want to say um, you can always check Michael's for the Recollections Planner and the Happy Planner. Uh, they always have great coupons. I get emails from them all the time. I would definitely recommend being on their email list if you're into planning and you're not already because you will get much better deals. I, I mean, there's always basically a 40% off coupon. Um, but I know a lot of times they run even better deals. You know, they will put the planners on sale, different things like that. So definitely, you know, get yourself set up for Michael's emails. They are more than worth it. Um, and then Erin Condren, if you haven't already purchased an Erin Condren before, definitely check my referral link down below. Full disclosure, I do get $10 from that. Um, referral but you also save ten dollars as well so my mind why not you know save the money and you know that way I can also buy more stuff for more content on this channel or get more stuff for more content on this channel but um you know just why not save a little bit of money occasionally Erin Condren does run deals and specials they're very rare but I mean keep an eye out save as much money as you can um on planning and definitely you know check out Instagram for any deals on any shops or anything. I do not have a shop at this point. Um, it is something that I have considered. I have not decided yes or no on it for sure yet. Um, but, you know, I, I always keep in mind, you know, that I look at every Facebook, every Instagram that I can to see what I can do to save money on the planning stuff because I have a lot of it and I would rather be able to buy more for the same amount of money than not as much. So anyway, um, that is pretty much everything. I know I kind of got off on a little bit of a save money tangent, which I I mean, if you don't like that, I'm sorry. Um, if you do, yay. But um, that is pretty much how I currently plan on planning in 2017. And, you know, going back and being able to look at what I have going on in 2017 as well. So I hope all of you had a wonderful 2016. I hope 2017 treats you as well or better. And I definitely look forward to doing a lot of different types of videos for you in the coming year. So definitely, if you have not already subscribed to my videos definitely subscribe down below and become a part of the it's a date paper co family and definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i um you know like to know what y'all enjoy and that gives me an idea of what i can actually you know produce in the future film in the future for you so that i can definitely give you the content that you would like to see as far as this channel goes so if there is something that you want to see always feel free to comment in Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, in the comments on what you want to see as far as a video goes from me and I will do my best to provide that. I can't promise that I will be able to provide everything but I will do my best. So um, a lot of it will be contingent upon money and supplies and different things like that. So uh, but like I said I will do my best. So again definitely subscribe down below if you haven't already for all the fun we have here on my channel and to become part of the It's a Date Paper Co. family. Apparently I can't talk but anyway so definitely subscribe down below like this video and check me out on facebook instagram and for more videos here on youtube thank you so much bye guys mm -hmm.